Now we are going to see the um, another subdivision that is study the shaded region and fill in the blanks. So look at the circle. Now I cut into equal halves that is 1 by 2. Okay, I shaded only one portion. So uh, study the shaded region and fill in the blanks. You must uh, study the state, uh, shaded regions and fill in the blanks. Study the state, shaded regions. Study the shaded regions and the and fill in the blanks. You must read or you must learn or you must study the shaded portion or shaded regions. Then you have to what find out uh, the fill in the blanks. Okay. So this is a circle. I cut into equal halves. I shaded only one portion that is called as one by two. So it is a whole circle. I cut into equal halves. That means two part. Then I have to shade only one portion that is what I have written 1 by 2. So here the same circle. So it is a whole circle. I cut into equal uh, parts. I cut into four equal parts. Then I shade only two portions. So what you are going to write in that box what I am going to write I have to write 2. That is 2 by 4. I have to write 2 by 4. That means 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4. It is an equal fraction. How could you say it is an equal fraction? 1 by 2. So I am going to multiply by 2. Okay, I am going to multiply by 2 this fraction. So 1 by 2. 1 is a numerator and 2 is a denominator. So 1 is going to multiply by 2 as well as 2. That means numerators multiply by 2 means if the numerators multiply by 2, the denominator also multiply by 2. If the denominators multiply by 2, the numerators also multiply by multiply by the same number. Multiply by 2. That is the rule. So 1 by 2 multiply by 2. So I have taken 2 as a what 2 as a number 2 as a important number okay i've taken uh, 2 as a uh, equal I, if you want to get 2 by 4 i have to multiply by 2 uh, multiply by 2 this particular fraction so 1 by 2 is multiply is going to multiply by 2 you can get 1 into 2 you can get 2 and 2 into 2 you can get 4 so in this uh, in this box you have to write what 2 that is what i've written already so 2 by 4 is a right answer that means in this box the right answer is 2 so i've written 2 already again i want to ex uh, i just explained explained it here so 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 so both are equivalent fraction and also i represent in the diagram also the next sum is so it is a triangle so what is this i uh, it is a whole it is a whole thing it is a triangle so i cut into three equal parts then i shaded only two portion that is what what two by three see look at this uh, parts one two three that is the that is the equal uh, parts of th that is the equal parts that is the equal parts then i shaded only how many parts two parts so two by three that is the uh, fraction i've written here here see at uh, the same uh, what triangle but i cut into what six equal parts one two this is one this is two and this is three this is four and this is five and six so all together six equal parts then after that i shaded how many portion one two three four four portion i sh uh, shaded so i have to write what is the number in the box that means i have to the total part i have to write that means six okay that means one two three four five six so six i have to write it here so it is also equivalent fraction how could you say it is the equivalent fraction that means two by three is a fraction so i am going to multiply by two again so i have taken two as a what a two as a what um uh, uh, 2 is an important number because why should it is an important number if I multiply by 2 only I can get 4 by 6 otherwise you couldn't uh, I couldn't uh, show it off otherwise I couldn't prove it off um, the question what is given 4 by 6 okay so that is 2 into 2 I can get 4 and 3 into 2 I can get 6 so in this box I have written what already I have written 6 so 6 is the right answer for this question so 2 by 3 is a fraction so I am going to multiply by 2 if I multiply by 2 if I multiply by 2 only I can get what 4 by 6 so 2 is a numerator and 3 is a denominator if the denominator is multiplied by 2 you can get 6 so if the denominator is multiplied by 2 the numerator is also multiplied by 2 otherwise you can say if the numerator is multiplied by 2 the denominator is also multiplied by 2 because it is a rule so 2 by 3 into 2 okay 2 by 3 is I'm going to multiply by 2 so 2 is a very important number it is called as a what it is a multiple multiple means you know that 
that is what multiple because uh, uh, i'm using the multiplication table of 2 only that is what so 2 by 3 into 2 so i'm going to multiply by 2 by the numerator i'm going to multiply by 2 the numerator as well as the denominator so 2 by 3 into 2 so 2 into 2 you can get 4 3 into 2 you can get 6 so in this box you have to write 6 only so that is the number i've written already so and also i represent in the diagram also so here three parts i shared only two parts here six parts i shared with only four parts in this diagram what i have uh, what um the whole part is two so uh, two equal parts but i shared with only one part it is a circle it is a whole thing here also the same circle but i cut into four equal parts but i shared with only two portion but the whole part is four so that means these both are both sums are equal in fraction as well as i'm representing the diagram also